Today, we will build a script that will allow us to render as many Blender files as we want when we are sleeping. A project like this one has many different shots, and the way I personally manage that is by creating a Blender file for each camera framing. So, for this animation, I ended up with 8 files. The thing is, each file needed around 2 hours to render. Of course, I don't want to render during the day when I'm using my computer. My sleep time is around 8 hours. So, if I start a render when I go to bed, let's say at midnight, the task will be over at 2 a.m. That's 6 hours left with my computer doing nothing instead of rendering my beautiful project. Let's easily fix that right now, just after this quick shoutout. Hello everyone and welcome to the ride, my Blender car animation course created for beginners and intermediate users who want to get into car animation. I'm so proud to present this project. It's more than 64 videos and 11 hours of training. And today I can finally share it with you. In this course, you are going to cover all the topics you need to master in order to create your own 3D projects, such as environment design, lighting, animation, camera animation, camera framing for TikTok, Instagram or YouTube short, smoke simulation, <laughs> DaVinci Resolve, sound effects, and the list goes on. I will also provide all the necessary assets that you need to follow along. My updated city pack with skyscrapers, city props, and 22 new buildings that you can use in all your animations. HDRI magic to create realistic animations in a few clicks, and with the collaboration of Ashworth Scars, 3D Shaker, and Zephyr 3D, you will also get this C63 AMG, this OD RS5, this Corvette C8, and this beautiful Mustang. Yes! Everything is included in this course. First, let's start by creating a new file. So right click, a new, and a text document, and name it, for example, render.bat, B-A-T. It can be any name you want, but the extension has to be .bat, B-A-T. I already did that, so let me open my file and show you the code. Let's zoom in a bit so we can clearly see the code. Okay, the first line, echo off, is there just to clean our output. This is not mandatory, but I think it looks better with it. Then we are going to define where our Blender executable is. And for that, you are going to use this code. So the information will be stored in this variable. And you enter the path where you have your Blender installed here. I insist you cannot simply copy mine. You need to check your installation. It might be the same but be sure to adapt this path to your case. And by the way, the lines in green are comments, you don't have to copy them. Now let's start with the core function of the script. We will create this loop and let me explain each line. So here we start the loop with a four and this is a variable that represents the current file being processed in the loop. And here you just write the path of the files you want to render and you separate them with a simple space. So at the end of the day, those are the only variables that you will update for your case. So this one for the Blender path and this one which will list the files that you want to render. If you want to render only one file, you can delete this part. And if you want to render more than, one more than two files, you can just add another one like here. And as I said, you just put a simple space between the files path. And for this line, we call Blender using the path store in the Blender path variable here. The minus B option tells Blender to run in background mode without the UI and open the file specified by this variable. This is the current file in the loop. The minus A option tells Blender to render all animation frames of the opened project file. And this minus B option is great because we use less resources when the Blender interface is not open. So theoretically, it's better for our render time. Echo and and this line is just an information. Uh, 
And this line is just for information. It prints a message to the terminal saying which file was just rendered. This line is just an information indicating that the rendering process is complete. This line of code is just displaying this sentence, putting computer to sleep in 30 seconds. Here we have a timeout for 30 seconds, giving you a chance to cancel the sleep command if you wish to. And then let me uncommand this. And this is the actual command to put the computer to sleep at the end of the different renders. And this command simply exits the script. And that's it, the script is done. If you don't want to type everything, I will put the link in the description where you can download it. Now we can test the beast. So I created two simple projects. Test1.blend, which is just a cube with five images and test2 which is a sphere. Those two projects are going to generate images in the directory script render. If we check my actual render.bat, here are the path of my different projects separated with a space. Let's check the final directory just to be sure that it's empty. So here we are in a script render and actually there is nothing in it. Let's close Blender. And to run the script, you simply double click on it and boom. Here you can see the terminal with the different images being rendered. And now we are at the end of the script. Here you can see the file that has been rendered and, and here the echo we created. Now I will press Ctrl and C to abort, to abort putting my computer in sleep. So let's check the final result. I go here in script render and boom, we have our different images. And just like that, you have created a powerful script that will render your projects whenever you want. Okay guys, I hope you liked this video. Don't hesitate if you have questions. I talk to you soon. Bye-bye.